CNBC tanks Tesla stock due to error. Hope you've got your Model 3 on order. And check out the new Autopilot Enhanced Emergency Braking in Action. Here are your Tesla tidbits for October 18th, 2016. We start today with a story that hits close to home for me personally. The reason being, and here's your disclosure now, I own Tesla stock and am in a long position. Electrek reports that CNBC, without getting confirmation of their information, reported today that the Model 3 had been delayed. This was due to some new language on the Model 3 reservation page that says, quote, delivery estimate for new reservations is mid-2018 or later, end quote. The bit they glossed over is that little word new that qualifies the statement. After the report, Tesla stock, which had been trading in the 198 range, plummeted to the 193 range. Thankfully for me, I'm not day trading the stock and plan to hold through Model 3 release, so I didn't hit the panic button and take a loss on my shares. Unfortunately for many, I'm sure CNBC's inexcusable reporting cost them some money. The stock quickly recovered once the air was corrected. Tesla stock closed today at $199.10, up 2.65% on the day. The previous story dovetails nicely here as Electrek also reports on an Elon tweet saying the first 12 months of Model 3 production are spoken for. This is what led to Tesla changing the Model 3 page to now read that new reservations should expect to receive their cars in mid-2018. In a response to Fortune tweeting the story of the now two-year wait for Model 3 latecomers, which is apparently no longer blocked by Elon on Twitter, Elon said, quote, this is because the first 12 months of production are sold out, end quote. Model 3 is undoubtedly a smash hit, assuming all reservation holders keep their reservations. What car in history has had so many pre-orders that the manufacturer is owned to being unable to fill them all in one year? Lastly, everyone's favorite Norwegian Tesla owner, Bjorn Nyland, has made a one-minute video showing off Autopilot's new two-car head capabilities. In a controlled situation, Bjorn trails two cars. The second car up initiates a countdown and smashes the brake pedal. You see the car in the instrument cluster illuminate white, and Bjorn's Tesla appears to immediately brake before he is ever even near the car in front of him. Check out the video as well as his full-length refreshed Autopilot video. Be sure to check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks as usual to my super patron, John Waltower, for his support. If you have something to buy from Amazon, please consider using my Amazon link in the show description to access the site. It costs you nothing extra, and they'll kick something back to the show for your trouble. Finally, you can support the show for free through positive reviews on the major media services where you find the show, and by simply spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. If you have feedback for me, please tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.